What's up girlies, it's Michelle from Girlio, and today I'm going to show you what's in my travel case. This could also be what are my nail art essentials and what I usually use. So this is my Kabuto. Of course it's pink because I love pink. I got it from Target for around $16. I did check a different Target and it, it was down to like $13 or $12, but that was a different Target, so that's probably why. It opens up like that, and then there's also a flap right here. And under this flap is a mirror, but I have no use for the mirror because I don't need a mirror for nail art. But just in case you're wondering, the mirror is good quality. Um, it doesn't bend the image or anything, but I would just say that it's not glued on tightly. If you guys can hear this. That's just me trying to push it in because because I can tell it would fall. Um, yeah, so if you want to buy this for like makeup or something, I would say just take care of it. So I'm going to start off with what's on my nails. It's Fresh Paint's Glass Slipper. If you guys aren't familiar with Fresh Paint, they're sold at Five Below. Um, Five Below is really good for nail polishes. They sell their polishes, most of their nail polishes, three for five dollars. Um, I have a, a paper towel. <laughs> I don't know. I use this one like the same one over and over again. I don't. I don't find the need to use a new one because I don't know. It's meant to get dirty, so as long as it doesn't get super wet, I'm fine. All right, you guys are probably wondering what the heck this is. So this is um like. A pot holder or you know when you have a hot pot or a bowl you put this on um, I use this to paint my nails yes um, what's great about this is because well I know there's stains on it and everything but it does come off with nail polish remover and water and acetone can wipe off it, it doesn't go through my boyfriend's mom actually gave me this because I guess I was messing up his desk with acetone, so yeah, I took this. <laughs> um, what else is in here? I got this from Sally's. It's a nail brush cleaner. Um, when I buy expensive brushes, I hate when I ruin them. Like it, it just kind of hurts my soul. I waste money because I don't know. I just I guess I use too much acetone. So I finally went to Sally's and bought a nail brush cleaner, and it's worth it. This is the acetone that I use. I use a bunch of acetone. Um, I, I have a lot more, but I just I don't bring it with me and I can't fit it in here. Um, I'm currently using the Onx Professional Remover. It's 100% pure acetone. I always need a pure acetone 100% one because I just I can't deal with the like non <laughs> non pure acetone, I guess, because it just it's not as strong. Um, so this one's from Walmart. It's, I'm fine with it. Uh, no, no complaints. I've also tried the one from Sally's. I think I like the one from Sally's slightly better, but since uh, I, I just needed one, so I got this one. And here is a CD. It's not an actual CD. It's it's the protectant cover that goes on top of the CDs. As you can see, it's not a CD. It's just it's clear, but. What do you guys think this is for? This is for my nail art, of course. I put my nail polish, even some acrylic paint, and then da 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 da. It's actually really helpful, and you guys can see I've used it a whole lot. Um, can you guys guess what this is for? <laughs> this is for um, when I do the saran wrap method. Um, I don't actually carry saran wrap. I think a bag works just perfectly fine, and especially because saran wrap it gets, gets all sticky and it just clumps together. This doesn't. And if you guys can see the edge of the bag, I've I've cut it randomly. So whenever I need it, I just like da 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 da. And there you go. I'm good. So here are the polish essentials. I guess I'll start off with this one. This is an Essie base coat. Um, it's the Ridge Filling Base Coat. I honestly, I don't even really touch this. Um, I almost never use a base coat, to be honest. 
Yeah, but whenever I want some natural looking nails and I don't really want to put some polish on, this is what I use. This is NYC's um, Strip Me Off. I love this. This is my first peel off base coat kind of thing. What is it? It's like, yeah, I like it. It's, um, especially since I make a swatch ball, this, this does the stop. It's, it's good. I also like to put it on the, around my nails as a liquid palette side. Um, I know it's not the same as the real deal, but it gets it done and that's the most important thing. It's only $2, so... I, I can't complain, guys. Black and white are my essentials. Here I have the Gem Chronicles nail lacquers in black and white, and they're called Powerful and Peaceful. Um, guys, I use this white so much. It's like so... <laughs> Look, there's polish on the, the handle because I use it so much. Um, I love using this for especially... Um, like my base coats, when I have to do a design and I need a white base, this this is it. This is what I use. I don't use the black as much because, you know, I just, I don't need black as much, but these are some good polishes, guys. Oops, sorry. Alright, I'm going to go with this one. This is NYC's Match Top Coat. It's matte me crazy. Um, this is my first matte top coat, so I don't have anything to complain about. I don't, I mean, sorry. I don't have anything to compare it to, but it makes my polishes matte. It's only two dollars. I really can't complain again. It it's do, it does its job. All right, girlies, these are my top coats. You're probably wondering why I have different ones. So, to be complete, completely honest with you guys, this is what I started with. When I first started nail art, I used NYC, um, what is it called? Extra Shiny Top Coat. And then, I got the Sashi V, and I was like, oh my god, it is 10 times better, but you know what? It's like 10 times more expensive. Like, this is a dollar. I got this at CVS for $10. I know I should have bought it online. I'm so silly. Um, and then I also wanted to try out Fresh Paints. Um, what's it called? It's just called Finished. <laughs> um, but if I were to order it from like least great to greatest, it'd be NYC Fresh Paint and then Sashi V. The reason why I have three is because, um, well, if I could afford to always use Sashi V, then yeah, I would always use it, but I can't. Um, I think Fresh Paint is a good one. It's, it's not... It's not as great, but it does its job. NYC, I would stay away from it because it does, it does, what is it, what is it called? It, it shrinks? Yeah, it shrinks. <laughs> um, but when I really want a good Manny, I will do the Sashay V. Um, sometimes when I do a Manny, I need several different layers of top coat, that's why. So if it's the first layer, I will usually use NYC, and then my last one is Sashay V. I don't know much about the chip, if they chip or, or not, or how long they help the mani because usually when I do my manis, I take my pictures and then I remove them. Okay, that was a lot of talk about top coat. Okay, so this is Bio Oil. If you guys aren't familiar with it, um, I'm familiar with it because it's for stretch marks. I didn't buy it for stretch marks originally. I think I did it for, I bought it for scars. So I used this way before I did had nail art, um, and then I needed an oil for my nails, for my cuticles especially, and I didn't have anything, so I wanted to use this. It got its job done, I can't really complain, and also if you guys have scars, this works. I don't know, it worked for me at least, so yeah. Um, cotton balls, and then some random thing, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, this little compartment comes out. It's it's my brushes and stuff. <sighs> There's just so much stuff, guys. I don't know why I have so much stuff. So, this is my baby. Like, I will only use it... Oh, look, it matches. <laughs> this is my baby. I will only use it if I'm, you know, I, I want a really good detailed mani. 
I don't pull it out as much because I don't want to ruin it. It's just one of those things. It wasn't even that expensive either. It was like, it was less than $10, less than $5 maybe. But I got it at Sally's and when I do use this, I most definitely clean it with my nail brush cleaner. So yep. This is my um, other nail art brush that I got from Sally's. This is actually my first nail art brush actually. Actually, no, no, I, I take that back. This is my first good nail art brush, and this is the reason why I bought I bought nail art um, nail brush cleaner because I ruined this one. But luckily, I just I cut it a little bit, and now it's not brand new, but it it's it's doing its job. Um, if you guys are not familiar with this, this is my nail on um, my brush. Oh, I can't talk right now. So sorry. This is my nail um, cleanup. It's by e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. concealer brush. It's only a dollar and it does its job for a dollar. Oh, yes. Um, the only thing is, over time, it does get ruined because of the acetone. But have no fear. It's only a dollar. You can get a bunch more. Yes. <laughs> ha. What else do I have in here? Um, I bought these off Amazon. It's like... It helps you pick up jewels or something, which to be honest, I don't even need because I'm perfectly fine using my fingers or my tweezers, but yeah, to be honest, these don't even work really well. Uh, I don't know. Um, this is my cuticle pusher, but I do not push my cuticles with it. I use this for my swatch ball. If you guys watch my swatch ball video, you will see that I just my swatch ball. Yes. And then here is a set of brushes that I got off, off Amazon. It's a set of 15. I don't think all 15 are, are in here though because I couldn't fit them all. And to be honest, I don't even use them all. Ugh. I use this one. It's just a tiny detail brush. I use the dotting tool. I don't think I touched anything else but these are pink. Um, I like pink. They I think they were like less than three dollars on Amazon. But if you guys are looking for a good set of brushes, I wouldn't recommend these. These are cheap for a reason. They don't work that well. But if you're on a budget and and you need a set of brushes, go for it. I'm a firm believer that if you want to make it work, you will make it work. Oh my God! I don't know why this is in here. It's a post-it note. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, this is the Burt's Bee Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I actually just got this not too long ago. I would say I got this three to four weeks ago. That's a long time for me. I mean, I meant to say that's not a long time for me. So, I got this because I saw it on Instagram a lot and I just, I needed a cuticle cream. So, and I've been using this religiously, so it's kind of gross. You guys can see the dent. It smells like lemons. And if you guys, I'll just give a quick review. Um, I like it. I would recommend it. Um, I have, I've heard people say it leaves like an oily residue. You know, I don't, I don't believe that. I think it does really well. And when it comes to cuticle creams or cuticle oils, I kind of expect it to kind of leave like a little, you don't expect to be completely dry with it, and this, this does its job. I don't mind putting it on and then going to do something. I'm not going to get something oily. And just to, by the way, guys, I bought this at Walmart. Um, I forget how much, but I remember checking the same day at Target, and it was $2 more, so definitely buy it at Walmart. I'm, like, losing my breath here. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um, okay, here is a buffer. I got this at Target. Um, it's a regular little buffer. I don't really recommend it to be honest. I, I just, I feel like it's not that great. But then again, what do I know? Uh, this is the Nivea hand cream. Oh my god, it's so dirty in here. I've had this forever. I've had this way before nail art. And it's pretty gross actually. It's not gross, but yeah, this lotion. What do I expect? Oh, I just have a plastic baggie. I think this is me telling me to use this one little nail strip thing. 
more plastic baggies. They held my um my indie polishes. Here's a rubber band. Um, I think a rubber band is a great thing to have. If you guys ever had trouble opening a nail polish, trust me, I've done it. I've 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 held a nail polish bottle under hot water. I have like used all my muscle strength, and it didn't work. But then I use a freaking rubber band, and it works in a second. So. If you guys have trouble, use a rubber band. Here's my nail file from Sally Hansen. Oh my god, I've had this forever, but I just keep using it. And I do buy new ones, but I just keep using this one. And I, I think I just have a love for it. And we match. Oh yeah. Here is... Um, a wheel of nail charms from Claire's. I got this so long ago, even before I started my Instagram. I can't believe I still have and I can't believe that there's still so many gems. I still have all the gems actually. Um, just a tip for you guys, I go to Claire's a lot and I never ever buy anything for full price there. I always buy their stuff um, when it's on sale. I, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure I bought this for a dollar or either two dollars. They usually have this 10 for 10 or 5 for 10 deals. So that's just, that's just a, that's just a little tip. Also, I wanted to show you guys something. Um, if you guys ever just like, um, you know, you guys pour your acetone in here and then there's acetone. What I like to do is use my circles and just cover it when I'm not using it. Um, I also use this one too. Actually, I use this one to cover one of them. I cover the bottle. One of them, I cover the lid, and that's because while I'm not using it, if air is exposed, it dries up quicker. So that's just a tip for you guys. I mean, that's what I do at least. I hope that's a tip. Almost done, guys. Jeez, I didn't know I had that much stuff. Um, sponges for gradients. These are some clean ones, and here are some really <laughs> messed up ones. I try cutting one, like I want to save more, but it just doesn't work well. But then again, I was using like a really small scissor so that I didn't get a clean line. Here are my tweezers that I just got from the dollar store. Which honestly, they don't work well. I would say invest in a good pair of tweezers, but I'm making I'm making do with it. Um, this is a sharpener. I originally bought this for some jumbo eye pencils for my eyes, but it's so jumbo that it doesn't even fit in here. So I use it to sharpen. Um, this thing, this gem holder thing. Um, this doesn't even need to be in here to be honest, but I just kept it in there. Um, here's some sugar because I recently did a nail art with sugar, the sugar nails. Uh, I remember when I got these, I was I gave them to my boyfriend. I was like, take the sugar, put it in your pocket. Like it was like a big deal or something. It's just a pack of sugar. Here's my swatch ball. I love my swatch ball, guys. My swatch ball is my little baby, but it's growing up. If you guys are not familiar with my swatch ball, I do have a swatch ball video where I teach you how to make a swatch ball, and I demonstrate on my boyfriend's nails. Yes, my boyfriend's nails. And it has grown so much since then. It's, it hasn't even been too long. I think it's been a month or two. I don't know. But yeah, here's my swatch ball. Yay! Um, hmm. Remember when I said black and white are your essentials? Well, I have black and white acrylic paint. I have a whole bunch of colors, but I'm definitely not going to carry it all. But black and white are my essentials because I love them. Black and white, they're so versatile, and I use white especially a lot. I don't know why. It's something about white. Almost done, guys. Here's some striping tape. This is my striping tape that I use. I don't really use striping tape for like the actual design. I always use it just to remove so I can get a negative negative space. Um, I have a bunch of different colors, but I just chose gold. Um, 
I guess gold is my least favorite color out of all of them, which I kind of regret because gold is so versatile also. But yeah. Well, here's some nail glue. I remember when I first started my Instagram, I had really long nails and I broke one of them and then I kind of had a panic mode. I was like, oh my god, I need to fix it. I need to fix my freaking nail. I, I, I kept buying glue. Um, now, well, obviously my nails aren't even that long anymore. Uh, these don't need to be in here, but just in case, I think in the future I'm going to put these in my purse or something. So if I do have like an unfortunate event of my nail breaking, these will be, this will come in handy. Um, these are my nail scissors. These are so handy. I use these so much, especially cutting my nail, my nail striping tape, and then my nail vinyls. And cutting my plastic baggie for um, my saran, me saran wrap method, yes. Here is a pink, it's like a white pink gradient. Ooh, these would be pretty nails, wouldn't they be? Um, it's a glass nail file. I don't use it. I don't use it at all. To be completely honest, I don't even touch it. I don't know how to talk about it. Here's some Q-tips. Um, or I think you guys call them cotton swabs. Or Q-tips. I call them Q-tips. I don't use them. I don't touch them. I just put them in here because I thought I'd need them. I don't use them. Um, here are some floss thingy majiggies. I call them floss ups, but I, I bought them and I put them in here because I was going to do a design with them. Um, I was going to do the design. I have no idea what it's called, that's why I'm doing the demonstration in sound. Okay. okay. A bobby pin. I love a bobby pin. I, I've always used a bobby pin. I used a bobby pin even before I started Instagram, and I still use a bobby pin. I do have dotting tools, but I still go to my um still go to my bobby pin. I just love my bobby pin. Here's a here's a nail clipper. To be honest, I don't really cut my nails often, and when I do, um, I don't know. Do I use this? I I really don't touch it, guys, because you know I don't cut my nails. Um, I just kind of file them. And then, oh my god, here's some little baby swatch balls. Oh, guys. Here's my huge swatch ball. Here's my baby ones. I don't, I don't know. It's like the mom and children. Jeez. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe I finally got through that. So that's my swatch. That's not my swatch ball video, sorry. That's what in my nail art travel case and my nail art essentials that's what I use I don't really use anything else um, I do have different acetones I do have nail stickers and nail charms and all those like nail vinyl thingies and obviously I have more polishes but these are my basics these are what I use and yeah, there's really not much more to say. If you guys have any questions, please leave comments. I will list all the products in order in the description box. Maybe I'll even link them. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you. I don't really want to put some polish on. This is what I use. This is... NYC's um, Strip Me Off. I love this. This is my first peel off base coat kind of thing. What is it? It's like, yeah, I like it. It's, um, especially since I make a swatch ball, this, this does the stop. It's, it's good. I also like to put it on the, around my nails as a liquid palette side. Um, I know it's not the same as the real deal but it gets it done and that's the most important thing it's only two dollars so I, I can't complain guys black and white are my essentials here I have the gem chronicles nail lacquers in black and white and they're called powerful and peaceful um, guys I use this white so much it's like so 
Look, there's polish on the, the handle because I use it so much. Um, I love using this for especially um, like my base coats. When I have to do a design and I need a white base, this, this is it. This is what I use. I don't use the black as much because, you know, I just, I don't need black as much, but these are some good polishes, guys. Oops, sorry. Alright, I'm going to go with this one. This is NYC's Match Top Coat. It's matte me crazy. Um, this is my first matte top coat, so I don't have anything to complain about. I don't, I mean, sorry. I don't have anything to compare it to, but it makes, um, so this one's from Walmart. It's, I'm fine with it. Uh, no, no complaints. I've also tried the one from Sally's. I think I like the one from Sally's slightly better, but since uh, I, I just needed one, so I got this one. And here is a CD. It's not an actual CD. It's it's the protectant cover that goes on top of the CDs. As you can see, it's not a CD. It's just it's clear, but. What do you guys think this is for? This is for my nail art, of course. I put my nail polish, even some acrylic paint, and then da-da-da-da. It's actually really helpful, and you guys can see I've used it a whole lot. Um, can you guys guess what this is for? <laughs> this is for um, when I do the saran wrap method. Um, I don't actually carry saran wrap. I think a bag works just perfectly fine, and especially because saran wrap it gets, gets all sticky and it just clumps together. This doesn't. And if you guys can see the edge of the bag, I've I've cut it randomly. So whenever I need it, I just like da 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 da. And there you go. I'm good. So here are the polish essentials. I guess I'll start off with this one. This is an Essie base coat. Um, it's the ridge filling base coat. I honestly, I don't even really touch this. Um, I almost never use a base coat, to be honest. Yeah, but whenever I want some natural looking nails and I don't, as long as it doesn't get super wet, I'm fine. Alright, you guys are probably wondering what the heck this is. So this is, um, like... A pot holder or you know when you have a hot pot or a bowl you put this on um, I use this to paint my nails yes um, what's great about this is because well I know there's stains on it and everything but it does come off with nail polish remover and water and acetone can wipe off it, it doesn't go through my boyfriend's mom actually gave me this because I guess I was messing up his desk with acetone, so yeah, I took this. <laughs> um, what else is in here? I got this from Sally's. It's a nail brush cleaner. Um, when I buy expensive brushes, I hate when I ruin them. Like it, it just kind of hurts my soul. I waste money because I don't know. I just I guess I use too much acetone. So I finally went to Sally's and bought a nail brush cleaner, and it's worth it. This is the acetone that I use. I use a bunch of acetone. Um, I, I have a lot more, but I just I don't bring it with me and I can't fit it in here. Um, I'm currently using the Onx Professional Remover. It's 100% pure acetone. I always need a pure acetone 100% one because I just I can't deal with the like non <laughs> non pure acetone I guess because it just it's not as strong. It's my polish is matte. It's only two dollars. I really can't complain again. It it's do, it does its job. All right, girlies. These are my top coats. You're probably wondering why I have different ones. So, to be complete completely honest with you guys, this is what I started with when I first started nail art. I used NYC. Um, what is it called? Extra shiny top coat. And then I got the Sashi V and I was like, oh my god, it is 10 times better. But you know what? It's like 10 times more expensive. Like, this is a dollar. I got this at CVS for $10. I know I should have bought it online. I'm so silly. Um, and then I also wanted to try out Fresh Paints. 
um, what's it called? It's just called Finished. <laughs> um, but if I were to order it from like least great to greatest, it'd be NYC Rich Paint and then Sashay Beat. The reason why I have three is because, um, well, if I could afford to always use Sashay Beat, then yeah, I would always use it, but I can't. Um, I think Fresh Paint is a good one. It's, it's not it's not as great, but it does its job. NYC, I would stay away from it because it does, it does, what is it, what is it called? It, it shrinks? Yeah, it shrinks. <laughs> um, but when I really want a good Banny, I will do the Sashay V. Um, what's up girlies? It's Michelle from Girlio, and today I'm going to show you what's in my travel case. This could also be what are my nail art essentials and what I usually use. So this is my Kabuto. Of course it's pink because I love pink. I got it from Target for around $16. I did check a different Target and it, it was down to like $13 or $12 but that was a different Target so that's probably why. It opens up like that and then there's also a flap right here. And under this flap is a mirror but I have no use for the mirror because I don't need a mirror for nail art. But just in case you're wondering, the mirror is good quality. Um, it doesn't bend the image or anything, but I would just say that it's not glued on tightly. If you guys can hear this. That's just me trying to push it in because I can tell it would fall. Um, yeah, so if you want to buy this for like makeup or something, I would say just take care of it. So I'm going to start off with what's on my nails. It's Fresh Paint's Glass Slipper. If you guys aren't familiar with Fresh Paint, they're sold at Five Below. Um, Five Below is really good for nail polishes. They sell their polishes, most of their nail polishes, three for five dollars. Um, I have a, a paper towel. <laughs> I don't know. I use this one like the same one over and over again. I don't. I don't find the need to use a new one because. I don't know, it's meant to get dirty, so 